Hello everybody, this is Cool Simon Sky and welcome to System Test 7 with the ESL 1500 series. Let's get straight into the video. I think you guys can easily identify the theme of this system test because there is a simplex pull station right next to the main panel. As I mentioned in the last video that this booster panel is providing filtered current to my main panel since my main panel only puts out FWR. This pull station here is a simplex 2099-9761 addressable pull station. Now this used to be an addressable pull station however I have removed the module and I know it does kind of look like it's melted a little bit strange because well it doesn't really fit well on the single gang back boxes and it's also being held by one screw. However, it still gets the job done, and yeah, that's all there is to say about it. So most of the alarms that I picked out in my changing room, I think you guys are going to be satisfied with what I picked. It is a Simplex 2901-9838 on a Simplex 4903-9102 light plate. This is a combo you don't see every day, but this is kind of like the same setup my school had. Now... Here's a fact about this horn right here. Well, this isn't exactly a 2901-983. I took out the horn out of my Faraday 6120 and placed it behind a simplex grill. So it's essentially a simplex 2901-983. I am very aware that there is paint on the light plate. However, it was like that before it got removed from my school. System sensor heat detector as usual. And we also still have the ESL detector. In my room we have a Simplex 2099-9756 pull station. Uh, I did swap this out during last system test so and we will be pulling it today and up here we have a Simplex 4903 horn stroke. This is the 9219 and yes this did come out from my school. It sounds a little bit sick but it doesn't sound as bad as if it was on FWR. And over here we still have the Gentex GXS strobe However, it is disconnected for this test since we already have a horn strobe. ESL detector here as usual. And we have a Simplex 425120. This is a bit of a newer style. As you can tell, the lock looks a little different and it also has a plastic button inside. Now, this pull station was used on a system test. It was actually located in the workshop, but it is now in here. And we will be also pulling this today. In here, we have my Simplex 2099-9756 dual action pull station. Uh, this one's actually a little bit newer than the one in my room and above it we have my simplex pre true alert horn strobe in here as well the model number is a 4903-9425 and for those who don't know this is the selectable model which means you can select to either free run or smart sync i still have the gxs in here but it's also disconnected just like the one in my room and we still have the same esl smoke detector and here, we did change out the GXSS in here and put up my Simplex 4904-9137 remote strobe. And we still have the system center heat detector. Near the water heater, I replaced the Firelight BG-8 and put up one of my other Simplex 4251-20 pull stations. That is it for the review of the main system. And now we're going to go ahead and pull the alarm. And we're going to start off in my room. If you guys suffer from any epilepsy from flashing strobe lights, please do not watch. And we're going to go ahead and pull the alarm in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, loud. Was super loud and we're gonna go ahead and reset the system and it's probably gonna be a system trouble or not, not this time good we're gonna go ahead and pull the simplex 405120 and here we go oh and there's the plastic button too Hmm. 
Hmm. I want to try something. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. And Zone 2 is in trouble, which is probably going to keep happening every time I activate the system. Well, that will be it for System Test 7. I apologize that it was cut a bit short due to having plans in real life that I need to take care of. And also college and stuff like that. But um, hope you guys still enjoyed it. Leave a like and also subscribe for more content on my YouTube channel. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video. Peace.